I had this plant that I just got not long ago and it doesn't really seem to be thriving very well. And I didn't know that I was underwatering or overwatering it. So I used the Google Lens app to find out that it's a rhododendron, but they are toxic to cats. And I have an outdoor cat, so that's not gonna work. Um, so I have two options here. It's not gonna do where it's planted right now because it's literally one, it's in full sun, which it does not like. <laughs> I did everything wrong. Uh, it doesn't like full sun. It wants to be in a shaded area, but also because it's toxic to my cats. I'm gonna try to still keep it. However, I'm gonna get it way up somewhere, like in a hanging basket, uh, somewhere that he can't even climb, not near a fence. Um, so I'm most likely gonna have to go get another, uh, I don't know what they're called, but those, they just hang off of your house or something uh, and put it in a hanging basket. But all I know right now is I need to get it out of where it is because it's <laughs> front and center of my house. Not only in full sun, but my cat has to pass it to get inside the house. So that's no good. We're gonna move it right now. Part of the problem is that its roots are not, I gotta break them up a little bit so that I can suck up some more water. Yeah. The whole reason I'm doing this. I am going out tonight. I just finished my makeup except for the lipstick. Today I'm going to be trying the new Revlon Colorstay Limitless Matte Liquid Lipstick. I got the color Upper Hand. I just thought it was a neutral nude. I did plump my lips a little. It does have just a tiny bit of foundation, uh, but there's nothing else on my lips. I'm going to use a little bit of Juvia's Place lip liner in So Rare. I was hoping to start this a little earlier in the day so I could wear it longer and let you guys know how long it really is lasting. But it's still the afternoon. It's about noon now, so I'm not going out until I think 7 or 8 tonight. So I want to wear it until then, see how often I have to reapply. I did already eat, but I am going to eat when I go get some drinks as well. So I just want to see how long this lipstick actually lasts. Is it going to transfer onto my cup? Is it going to transfer onto my utensils? Is the greasy food just going to wipe it all away? Cute applicator, not too big, not too small. I'm just hoping that the color is decent. Uh, a light chemical -y smell. They do have lighter nudes too. This one's too dark. It's really pretty. I wish I did go like a shade lighter. They had quite a bit of shades to choose from too, which was awesome. But I'm just gonna let this dry down for a second and apply a second coat like I normally do with liquid lipsticks. Everybody always says what's the most comfortable way to wear liquid lipsticks. Well, they're gonna be drying. They're liquid lipsticks, especially if they're matte. So I'm gonna apply a second coat right on top. And I will just check in with you guys throughout the night um, up until even I go get drinks and stuff, see if it transfers. I just wanna see how long they last. Uh, so far, it actually feels pretty good on my lips. Um, that first layer dried down probably about like 75% of the way before I added a second coat. Uh, so it's not completely dry yet. So when it's 100% dry, I'll come back and let you guys know how it feels. Um, I gotta go take out this hair and figure out what I'm wearing today. I really don't have a lot of time, honestly, to like put together a whole outfit. I'm just going to get a couple drinks, so it's nothing fancy anyway. I have not had a chance. I've been running since first thing this morning. I haven't even had a chance to like 
hop in the shower and shave my legs or anything. So they're a little bit stubbly. So a dress, a dress tonight is off the table. Uh, so I think I'm going to just go with this gray kind of two-piece outfit and throw on a pair of heels. Honestly, I am not going to fuss with a lot of jewelry or anything. I have on little earrings that I have on little earrings at least, so it'll do. I just got to get the heck out of here. Good morning. So I, I mistakenly, I woke up. So I went out last night and I might have had a drink or two and I may have completely forgot to update you guys about that lipstick. So this morning I'm going to Target anyway for a shipped order for another vlog as well. But I'm going to grab another color and we're going to try it again today because I have to get ready. So I'm going to come home, do my makeup and everything. And then we're, it's much earlier today. It's um, about just after eight in the morning. So we'll be able to see how the lipstick actually holds up all day. So I picked up a different color this time to try, which is called Dream Job. Same step as yesterday. And then we'll try this color and see if I like it better. Ooh. I'll let that dry down. Uh, it's just a classic red. It's really beautiful. I love this one a lot. So I'm going to just let it dry down. I have to run out for a little bit. I'm not going to be eating right away. But with just normal wear, I want to see um, if I see any blotching or any patchiness. So I'm going to bring it with me just in case. But I'm not going to touch up unless I tell you first. This is the lipstick again about... It's about 75% of the way dry. It's not completely mattified yet. Let's just let it sit. I'm not going to touch it and I'll check back in in a little while. So little update. It is about quarter to four now. I have not been able to eat anything yet. <laughs> I'm starving. I did drink a full bottle of water though. There seems to just be a little bit of fading not too bad in the corners not bleeding too heavily i can see a little bit of my lip liner around the perimeter but it doesn't look too bad at this point i probably would touch it up a little bit to make the edges a little more cleaner but i'm gonna keep it as is i'm not gonna touch up i'm gonna go eat something and i'll bring you guys back and see how it holds up I still haven't gotten an opportunity to eat, but I did order a pizza, so I promise we're gonna try eating and see how the lipstick stays on, but I'm being a bad girl and I'm gonna eat some chocolate because I am so hungry right now. Haven't touched up the lipstick, it looks pretty much the same. Yes, I put a pimple patch on my forehead, I don't care if I'm in public because it is so hideous and so painful. I'll let you guys know if this rubs off at all. I think the pizza is gonna be the real test for this lipstick i ate the candy not the whole thing about oh i left like one little row left which i'll probably eat after dinner but the lipstick is starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable a little too drying i can start to feel it almost like ball up and it's just becoming a little uncomfortable it's definitely rubbing off corners same thing we're getting some bleeding um, but overall though the lipstick is still there based off of other lipsticks i've used i'm still impressed with how long it's lasting even if it's getting a little uncomfortable so my pizza delivery is on the way once they get here we'll eat i'll come back with my final opinion about these lipsticks i'm gonna sit down and get settled in but we got barbecue pizza here Nice and greasy, nice and messy. It should be able to test the lipstick pretty well. So, mm. I'm not going to be shy about it. I just wanted to give my final thoughts before I call it for the night about the lipstick. So as you can see, it's still on. It definitely doesn't look great after eating the pizza and like a greasy food took off the majority of the pigment. So now it's just more of like a light stain. It's mostly off on the bottom. Most of the pigment is up here on the right. So I would have definitely need to reapply at some point in the day. But I like knowing that the lipstick would last me that long. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you can show me by leaving a like. Also, if you don't wanna miss any new videos, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.